Hello everybody, in today's video we're going to be reviewing the Happy Hacking Keyboard Professional 2. This is a niche keyboard that a lot of keyboard enthusiasts love. And it mostly is because of the layout of the keyboard and because of the toe play switches they use. So what are toe play switches? They're not mechanical switches. So the Happy Hacking Keyboard is not a mechanical keyboard. They are rubber domes. They are electrocapacitive switches. Basically, inside each rubber dome in the keyboard, there's a spring underneath which helps give it its uh, nice tactile feeling and not feel like an ass membrane basically. So let's begin reviewing this keyboard by looking at the keyboard itself first. So the most famous thing about Happy Hacking Keyboard is the layout. The layout is a bit different from what a lot of us are used to. The Windows key is shifted, there is no control key anymore, but the control key is now at where the caps lock is, and the backspace is changed to delete, which is lower than where it normally is. The point of the Happy Hacking Keyboard's layout is to make you type faster, or reach the most important keys without moving your finger as much. So let's move on to unboxing the keyboard first. But before that, this video is actually sponsored by Baiyi, a Japanese proxy service. So basically, Baiyi sent me this keyboard, I'm not paid to do this, they just sent me the keyboard for free. If there's anything you want to buy from Japan, like Japan Amazon or Macari or Rakuten but they don't ship to where you live, you could use Baiyi to buy the product, where the seller would send the product to Baiyi's warehouse and Baiyi's warehouse would send it to you. By the way, if you sign up for Baiyi with the link in my description, you get 2,000 yen off your first purchase, which is about $20. So yeah, anyways, let's continue the video. Alright, so if we're gonna look at the keyboard, it has a very simple box and uh, has all the stuff written behind. And opening up, we have a bunch of manuals uh, inside that's written on how to use the keyboard and the different dip switches and all that. And then we get the cable, which is a micro USB. It's not USB Type C, unfortunately. And then we have the keyboard itself. There is nothing else in the box other than the keyboard, the cable, and the manual. So it's a bit disappointing that they didn't give anything else, for, especially for such an expensive keyboard, but I digress. The back of the keyboard has a nice sticker explaining what the switches do. And speaking of switches, I mean the switches at the back plate here. They are dip switches where you can toggle and change the different modes the keyboard is on. Other than that, the, enti the keyboard is entirely made of plastic and they have like three different height elevations. From the side of the keyboard, you can see that it's quite elevated. Uh, it's a bit too elevated for my liking when it comes to rhythm games, but for typing, it's definitely very good. Alright, so let's talk about the feel of Topre switches. They are very nice to type on. It's the kind of feeling that is very difficult to explain in words, but you can roughly tell how it feels like from the sounds of it. It's quite... It's quite light, sitting at about 45 grams, which is lighter than most membranes, which is 50-70 grams. And there's definitely a tactile feedback, but it's not as sharp or strong as, let's say, Cherry MX Brown. And that's basically it. The tactile feeling is more closer to the top of the key than at the bottom. And another thing about Topre switches is that it does actuate before you bottom out. So that's, that is why I wanted to test it, because since it doesn't actuate right at the bottom, I kind of wondered how it would do. And here's a very quick typing sound test. Alright, so in this video, I'll be testing the keyboard on a bunch of different rhythm games, but let's start with what most people are here to watch me for, which would be Osu. I... after playing it on Osu for a bit, I got really confused. I don't understand why Squashy liked these kinds of switches for Osu at all, but hey, what he revealed in his video is the knockoff version of Topei switches, not the actual Topei switches. So maybe it turns out that the, the knockoff versions are better. One thing I know about the knockoff switches versus the actual switches is that one, the knockoff switches are not crazy expensive, and two, the knockoff switches don't have a rattly sound when the key is lifted back up. So when I tried this on Osu, the first thing I tried on is a bunch of single tapping, and so you can see here in the background. And one thing I realized is that no matter what map I played on Osu, I played 10 times worse than how I usually did. Okay, wait, maybe not 10 times worse. I would get like a 30 to 5% accuracy loss, which is pretty dang terrible. And oh yeah, the keyboard also moves around the table a lot because the rubber feet on the bottom are terrible. I mean, this keyboard is god tier for typing. Like, it's so good. Like, my words per minute just went up by 10, and that's crazy. But oh my god, 
they really need to invest in better rubber feet. But rubber feet aside, you can always buy a rubber sheet and put it underneath your keyboard. So so yeah, but it's not great. It's not good. Um, how do I put this? It feels like the actuation point is inconsistent. Or maybe it's because my fingers are being stupid and I don't know. Basically, basically, it feels like sometimes it actuates later than, than I press it. But that also could be because of the speed I'm pressing on my key or because I don't completely bottom out. I have no freaking clue. You can see in my hit error that I'm hitting later sometimes and that's not me hitting later. Like the moment I switched over to another keyboard, I, I just played better. I, I noticed this with pretty much every other map. I also tried to use this keyboard on anything speed related like fast streams and the tactile thing really stops you from moving too fast. That's why everybody recommends anyone to use Cherry MX Red for Osu because you, it's easier to vibrate in a spot for speed. And speaking of vibrating in a spot, it's very difficult to vibrate in a spot for membranes so it's not very good. Although when I tried it on stream maps on a BPM that I'm comfortable with, uh, there wasn't really much of a difference between this keyboard and using a Cherry MX Brown keyboard so maybe, maybe I'm just rusty or maybe it's because of the tactility that's stopping me from doing well. Even though I had worse accuracy on Browns, I, I was missing a lot more and generally just not hitting things right on time. Like my cursor would leave the circle before like the keyboard registers a click. But hey, maybe I'm over exaggerating this. I'm not good in Osu anymore. So I, what would I even know? Alright, so the next one. I tried this out on Quaver. I mean, I got a couple of comments asking me to play Quaver, so I decided to play Quaver for this video instead of Usumania or Eterna. So for Quaver, it's um, terrible. I mean, um, okay, for Quaver, it's not good either. So I came to realize that Topre switches are just not meant for rhythm games. It's so good for typing, but it's so terrible for everything else. I mean, I imagine for normal gaming, it's probably fine too, but for a game that requires your key presses to be accurate and on time so much, this is not it. I was getting not as good scores on this compared to my other keyboard. My other keyboard is a Moto Speed that I got from for another video, and that one's really good for Mania actually, or Quaver, or anything 4K. I, I felt myself getting tired faster on this keyboard, and the feeling isn't very good when you're pressing, trying to press quickly or get that feeling. The tactile, the tactility is not very good, and because this thing's a rubber dome and vibrating on this thing is very difficult. It's not good for speed, it's not good for well, pressing quickly, so that's why it's not good for 4K or, well, any K. So yeah, now for Taiko, I got Zeshi to play Osu Taiko for me with this keyboard and we were also comparing it to the legendary BFK membrane keyboard, a scissor switch membrane keyboard and BFK is still much better, the happy hacking keyboard isn't very good for speed because you can't vibrate in a spot, well the same criticisms and also the fact that um, it really really does slide around a lot on the table is not very good in that aspect. Someone on Twitter asked me to play Sound Vortex on this thing, and just, just why? Just take $200 and buy a controller. Why? Otherwise, I really, really, really like this keyboard. I mean, I've been using it for a week straight, typing on this thing now, and I don't think I'll be able to move back to any other layout on the keyboard anymore. And I really love how it feels like when I type. It feels so good. And the only downside for me on this thing is the missing numpad or arrow keys without using layers. And the fact that like um, I can't use this to play my rhythm games anymore. I'll have to pick out another keyboard and connect it to my PC if I wanted to play, which is kind of inconvenient. But otherwise, this thing is my main keyboard now. I really like to type on it and this if you buy this keyboard is really 100% for the typing experience it's not cheap either sitting at around $200 so yeah it's not very cheap 
is quite pricey. And I am still very curious about the knockoff Topri switches that Squashy tried because maybe that one's actually good for Osu. I wouldn't know. I need to try it. And I really want to try it. I want to compare. Uh, but other than that, uh, that's it for this review. The guy completely do not recommend this keyboard for playing rhythm games. It's not great. I mean, you can play, but it's not the best option out there and definitely way too expensive for you to buy for purely any rhythm games, especially since the, the results aren't that great. But for typing, this thing is definitely an experience that I wish everyone could at least give a go once. It's that good. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and remember to check out Bai.